What's up guys, my name is Ryan45678 and welcome back to My Summer Car. This is part 8. Last time we pretty much got the car finished and we did some poop jobs and we're back here with a poop truck with no gas basically, or no diesel, and a Satsuma that needs to be tuned and that's just about it. Before we get started I just want to say don't forget to drop a like on the video if you do end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you end up liking what you see and you want to see more. And if you want to support this channel in any way, I have some affiliate links down below. I've got my Amazon affiliate link. I've got another one for a company called Green Man Gaming, where you can get download codes for games. And I also have a link to a free 30-day trial for Gamefly. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's, uh, fan belt, fan belt. I missed it the first time we went to the store. I almost missed it again. It's time we put this puppy on. It's been a long time since I played this game. I actually I recorded a ton of episodes when I started when I first played it. Uh, there, there we go. And we will. Ah, you know what? I think I know how to tension it somewhat. Uh, get it? We'll get it a ballpark. Uh, but I, yeah. It's been so long. So if I remember right, pretty much need to take it, uh, of course you have to get this thing unscrewed. And go back to the hand, loosen it all the way, uh, and you do like one, two, three, I, I don't know, something like that. We'll, we'll tune it later. So that's that. But yeah, uh, I guess I didn't say. Today we're basically going to be tuning the car, and if we have time we might do uh, a job or two, but we'll see. Uh, next thing I want to do, while I was editing the last video, I think I missed some bolts on the seats. Yep, I did. I did indeed forget to tighten that bolt, uh, those, those bolts. So, uh, glad I checked. Could have ended badly with the seat passenger seat falling off, I don't know. Uh, the worst that would happen, I guess, is I would lose the passenger seat. Ooh, there's not much we can do. No oh, look at that wheel, how it's tilted in. We're gonna have to fix that really quick. Uh, I'll I'm gonna look up how to adjust that because I there's a number. I think it's 50. It's either 50 or 60. You turn it all the way one way uh, until it doesn't move anymore, and then you go in the middle, which is either 50 or 60. I'll have to check. Okay, uh, so I looked it up and apparently it's 50 and you need a 14 millimeter wrench and you go oh <laughs> and you go down here and you take it and I think it's that thing yeah see how the wheels slightly moving every single time you do that until it stops moving um, I'm obviously not gonna bore you guys with that I'll just uh, wait till it goes all the way you know what though? I should have gone the other way because the wheel was already facing in to the right slightly. Now I'm gonna have to adjust for that and the extra. <laughs> Alright, there it is. You can see it's uh, turning the bolt but nothing's happening. So we uh, we count 50. I'll uh, meet you guys at the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 8, 49, 50. There we go. That was actually Faster than I remember it being last time. I'll, I'll go this way this time. Wow, I think it stopped moving already. That was faster than the, the other side. That's good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 50. There we go. We've got the wheels adjusted. Eh, I can't jump out. Um, now, oh, if I can get out of the trunk, that would be great. That would be great. Okay, um... Is that is that it? I think I think I can. I think I can. I think we have everything we need. Um, unless we missed a bolt somewhere, everything is in place. Uh, we'll just have to adjust the carburetor and the valves later. But that is no problemo. So uh, let's push this baby out. Ah, there we go. I found the right button. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Oh my goodness, Satsuma. You can uh, just calm it right down. Oh gosh. 
go. Go, go, go. Go, go, Power Rangers. No, you stupid car. Why? I, I figured that was going to happen. Oh, well. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll... Does this thing have a tow hook? Ah, it does. Thank goodness, because I was going to have to use the, the fumes of the poop truck. That Okay, bad joke. Uh, Could have made a terrible joke there. It would have been funny, but... Uh, not not gonna do it. I mean, it's it's already too late now. I've already said it, but fumes. Yeah, since it's running on fumes, I would have had to uh, use those. Where's the ignition? Where where is it? I forgot. That's oh, right there. I would have had to use what little diesel we have left in that thing to pull the Satsuma out of the out of the pit. I fell in the pit. Be warm. Be warm and filled. Blue van. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's uh, take it into reverse. Uh, parking brake off. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this thing has a towing hook on the front as well, but uh, oh, uh, would help if I shifted the gears. All right. <laughs> Shut the door too. I hate how you have to touch the door twice to close it, like, once is not enough. You gotta do that, click it twice, um, let's see about that, oh, jeez. Let's find out. I should have just left the door open, my goodness. Uh, come on, door, there you go, there you go, alright. No. Wait, yes. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah. I hope we don't break it. I got, I'd be so upset. I made it all this way without breaking any glass from glitch, glitchy physics and only only to break it now. Eh, which, eh, might happen. You never know. Jeez, okay. I have to move the poop truck. It's in... Oh, wait. No, that's not what the problem is. Uh, I know what we have to do. I know the way! You don't know the way. Push! Okay. That should do it. Put away the hands. Uh, now we go back in the van. It's okay though, because it's not a white van. We can get in the van. Um, not on the van. In the van. There you go. Aha! We've done it! And we probably pushed the poop truck out of- Okay, we haven't even gotten to the poop truck. Thank goodness. Nudge. Slight nudge. It's probably not the greatest idea. I should use my hands for this. Okay, now I want the van out of the way because I- I don't want the van anywhere in the picture when I first start this thing up. So, uh... Let's just put the van in the side. Jeez, man. Why are you sliding? Why are you always sliding? Come on, what the heck? What? Oh, my bad. <laughs> I didn't even disconnect the freaking thing. Ah, uh, gosh. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, we'll we'll go ahead and disconnect it from the front. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, where I had it. I had it. Where is it? There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, we should be good. Uh, just gotta move this thing out of the way once again. And hopefully we won't smash the Setsuma in the process. Uh, oh gosh. We did. And it was totally preventable too because I had the freaking door wide open. <laughs> Let's push this thing. Push, push, push. Right there. Uh, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of prefer it facing the garage. I'll move the poop truck too, because I don't want that in the picture either. It's just weird. Yeah, super power. Push out. Slight bit, there we go, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, we did smash it, dang it. I knew it, I knew it was going to happen. Let's move the poop truck. Alright, let's, uh, let's just move it. I don't know. Let's put it over here. 
Oh, I just realized I'm burning so much gas right now, just doing this meaningless stuff and going in freaking circles. What am I doing? Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm driving in bushes. Uh, that's great. Probably shouldn't do that. Don't drive in bushes. Life advice. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. I'm probably going to go back and forth, 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 forth with the boat and get some gas. Uh, that's what we'll do. I think it is time for a first start, guys. This is exciting. Uh, it's the second time I've done this. First time, the timing cover fell off. Uh, this time, hopefully the belt squeaks a little bit and that's it. Uh, let's grab our tools really quick. Let's see what we got. Oh gosh, this is scary. This is so scary. Uh, we'll need to choke. All the way out. Although with the adjustment, it may not even matter. Uh, it's probably adjusted terribly. Okay, moment of truth. Pray for me, guys. Please let it work. <gasps> it starts! Thank goodness. Okay, you hear that noise? Um, that means the belt is... Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I forgot. But it starts! That is awesome! Let's try... Uh, let's try one way... one out. I think it, it was weird how, how... how little adjustment it needed, if I remember correctly. Let's, uh, let's try for start number two. Oh, here we go. There we go. Listen to that sound. Oh, something fell off. I knew that was going to happen. Let's go see what it was. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't tighten the freaking alternator back. I'm an idiot. Or did I? No, I did. Oh, uh, the starter fell off. That could have could have been worse. You, you know, starter. Um, could have been some other important thing that's hard to get to, but it was only the starter. Oh, oh, that's weird. Okay, um... Now I'm going to have to figure out what this was. Oh, ah, it actually was an 8. Cool. So there's that. Um, oh! Okay. Um, no? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that fell off. That's the only one I see. Oh. Ah, there we go. Uh, there was one on the other side, and I just couldn't see it. There we go. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's the only thing that falls off. It's weird. Uh, every single time it's different. So we, we got the belt adjusted, uh, the starter put back on. Let's try this again. Oh yeah. That's sweet. It's a sweet sound of Satsuma goodness. Alright. Next order of business is uh, just in the valves. So let's uh, let's shut her down real quick. Take the valve cover off for this. Uh, did it seven? I don't know. This is kind of funny. Our truck has valve cover issues, and it's like you have to take a lot of things off just to get to it to even think about. Oh, did I unscrew the right thing? I hope I did. I'm gonna tighten that back up just in case. Might be a head bolt. <laughs> um, but it it I don't know it, the. What we're thinking about doing is just taking the, the washers because what, what happened is the screws came loose uh, because the washers are rubber and eventually the rubber shrinks and they're not tight anymore so and one's missing so we were thinking about just replacing those the washers and the one bolt that's missing 
And even that's going to take a lot to get to. But my dad was telling me about when he was working on cars in, I guess, the 70s, uh, or his car, there was like this valve cover thing that just kind of snapped on, or, or it was like, no, it was a wing nut, so you could just take it off easily. Because uh, this, you got like six bolts to take off. And, and it is off, but still, it's like, why not make it easy? <laughs> But here we go, we got the valve train. Um, get the screwdriver out to mess with that. So you do this while it's running, and you basically, I mean, th this is not how you would do it in real life. You would use feeler gauges and actually check the gap. Uh, but uh, in this game, this is how you do it. You do it by sound. So basically, you tighten them till you hear them click and then loosen them until they don't click anymore so uh but you go by the direction uh direction of the screw not it's it doesn't correspond to uh, uh the d normal direction for uh, other bolts and stuff in the game there you go and then loosen it out uh do each one there you go if you do it wrong like if you tighten it too much or you loosen it too much the engine will stop running Ah, there we go. Alright, so one, uh, three. Three quick maths. Three quick maths! Come on. I know you can do this. Okay, that's four. Now we got the other four, right? Oh yeah, because this thing is an inline four. It's kind of weird that the car you build in this game is an inline four and not a V6 at least, but it kind of makes sense with the setting being like fin basically finish rednecks, <laughs> which is awesome. What are you doing, game? Give me this. Let me do it. There you go. I did this one right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, next two. There we go. There we go, the valves are good, uh, so we'll shut it down, put the valve cover back on so we don't lose too much oil, because you apparently do lose a little. It doesn't seem like the carbs adjusted too badly, because when I was playing it on my own, it was terrible. Like, it wouldn't, it would not run when it, when it was warm, because the adjustment was so bad. And it would reset if I, if I saved the game and quit and come back later, the adjustment would be out of whack, uh, and I, I kind of gave up on it. So, uh, let's get the, uh, what is it, seven? Let's get the seven out. Alrighty, and because we we had the valve cover off, we lost a little bit of oil, so we'll, we'll check that. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit, little bit low, not much. Um, it may not, might not even be low enough to actually take any more oil, but we'll see. Go ahead and grab the uh, oil, can, uh, oil can. Oil jug. Let's put some coolant in the oil. Let's see what happens. Maybe it'll be real cool. Make the engine not freeze. Oh yeah, it was pretty low, so. Good thing we checked. Alright. Got enough oil in the oil thing. You know what? Since we have the car, if we're going to take the risk, uh, in the morning we could go to the store in the car. I've never crashed the car. It's it's hard it's hard to crash. So we might do that. We might take a spin without the hood just so people know we we just built this thing. We might do that. I don't know. Oh yeah, um oh, I, I forgot a piece uh this thing, the back panel. Yeah, I mean, you don't really need it, but... I don't need it. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not even in the car, but I'm putting it in. Yay. Okay, next, uh, adjust the carburetor. So there's some, some ways you can tell... Ooh, uh, we actually should probably do that tomorrow. Uh-huh. We'll go ahead and do that. All right. 
Um, so now we're going to adjust the carburetor, or as the Brits call it, the carburetor. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, we'll have to wait for it to, to warm up. Isn't that just a beautiful sound, that idle? It's like... Boop, 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 boop. Rum. Rum. Yum, yum. Oh yeah. Alright, I think it's about good. Um, go ahead and try to adjust the carb. You don't have to take the air filter off, I don't think. Oh, you know what? Hope we didn't lose any oil. Uh, we'll have to check that later. I'm a dummy. We'll go ahead and adjust it after we turn the choke off, because otherwise it's that's pointless. It's still running, just a good sign. Should drop RPMs a little bit, not too much. There we go, it didn't die, so that's a good sign. Okay. Let's see if we can adjust it. Uh, I think this makes it Leaner? I don't know. I, I don't really know. We'll see. Uh, the color is the, the, yeah, that's really lean. Okay. The exhaust color tells you, supposedly, what it's running like. Uh, go the, uh, ah, go the other way. I think. I, I don't, I don't honestly know. Try three turns that way. Uh, Wrong direction. Okay. Go the other way. We'll go eight turns. This might be too many, but uh Okay, now we know which way to go. Do you know the way? Or rather, which way not to go. It doesn't know the way. Okay, mouse wheel forward. Uh whichever direction it turns the screw, I don't know. Okay, it's still way too lean. There's eight turns. Uh, let's try five more turns. So that's uh, 13 total. Okay, uh, wrong direction. I, I don't really know. Okay, we'll go 13 back out and then five. See what happens. Or you know what? Maybe it was bottomed out. We'll do 10 because it, it's possible that it was bottomed out at the leanest setting. Okay, it, it, it backfired or whatever you call that and kept running so that's a good sign five more turns the exhaust should be not white but it should also not be black it should be like gray and if we get the fuel mi fuel mixture gauge anytime soon from Tamo Timon whatever uh, we'll be able to actually dial in the number that looks like it might be right. Uh, I'm gonna do a little richer because it looks still still looks a little bit white. Two turns. Try that. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, it looks decent. Yeah. Let's uh let's rev it a little bit. And see what happens. Oh oh yeah. You can uh you can rev it straight from here. You don't have to get in the car into driving mode or whatever. You can just go. Uh, put the hand out, and uh, if you can, there you go. And check the exhaust, and I don't know. Uh, I might adjust it a little richer. It's really hard to tell. It's probably too much, but I put five. That I don't know. I really can't tell, but uh. Yeah, I, I really can't tell, but I think that's going to have to do it for now. Oh, man. We'll leave the hood off for a while, though. Uh, let's check the oil again. We'll shut it down a little bit. Eh, we didn't really lose any. That's good. Um, so what we need to do... I don't really think we need the gas can filled. Uh, we could fill it just just because. We really need the diesel can filled though. Uh, let me check. See how much gas this thing has. 
That's fine. Um, we'll bring this just in case we need it filled. Uh, we'll have it for emergencies in case we do to pull a pull a poop truck. In case we pull a poop truck and uh, not fill it up when we need really, really, really need to. Like really, really, really. Okay, I'll uh, put that back there. Anything else we need? Uh, we're gonna go to the store. Um, we can get this thing in inspected, actually. So I think we'll actually bolt the hood on for that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to, I can't see. Now I feel exactly how people feel when their windshield flies up in their face. Uh, but, uh, so bright. Gosh, oh, gosh, bright. Oh my goodness, why is it so bright? It's because it's bright in the light, in the sun. Uh, that's not much better. Uh, let's lift the trunk, I mean trunk. Uh, let's lift the hood up. I can't, okay. Uh, let's figure out what bolts those are then. look this one up so apparently it is uh, nine but where the bolts are that is something to be desired uh, you guys you guys are gonna laugh at me for this one to get to the hood you have to pull the hood latch and you open the freaking hood then you get to the stupid bolts <laughs> I I should have known this because I watched I mean, why are these not nines? It told me it was nines. I watched Squirrel do this and make the same exact mistake and I didn't I didn't catch it myself. Oh, there's sixes. I read I don't know how I got nine out of six. Okay. There we go. One, two. Three. Four. Alright, um, here we go. I don't know if that actually shuts it, but... Uh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe we have to do the hoodlatch again? Let's see. Oh, okay, right click. There we go. That's good. Okay, good. Uh, the hood is closed. Alright. Um, we will bring the tools. You never know when you might break down or do something dumb. Uh, go ahead and put these in the trunk. In the trunk. Alright. Got the two cans. The two cans. We got the birds. That's a good sign. I think we're ready. Uh, we need some food and drink, though. That's for sure. Bring the milk. You know what, though? I think this is going to have to wait for next time because I'm trying to keep these episodes a little bit shorter because uh, they end up going way too long. And uh, I want people to watch and not get bored and not not even click on the video because it's too long. So, uh, at that, ah, uh, phone. Hello? <gasps> Damone, perfect timing. I was just going to the store in next next episode, which will be like five minutes from now, but yeah, so much yeah. All right, um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing doing that next time, but uh, let's get food. Actually, we don't really need food because we have milk. Who needs food when you have milk? Just bring uh, one sausage and an entire case of beer, just in case we run out of milk. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, okay. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We got the Satsuma finished. 
but not not finished but we got it running and who knows hopefully nothing falls off when you try to drive it next time but uh thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more and if you want to support this channel don't forget i've got my affiliate links in the description amazon green man gaming and a 30 day trial for gamefly uh with that thank you guys for watching once again and i will see you guys later bye